Immerse yourself in international culture and cuisine at a new Latino farmer's market in Chesterfield. Yeah, the market just opened last month and runs each Saturday through November. So joining us in the studio this morning is America Deloach, the founder of the Latino Farmer's Market. So thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. So it's an exciting time for someone who doesn't know what is the Chesterfield Latino Farmer's Market. So the Latino Farmer's Market is an opportunity definitely for all all vendors. Mm -hmm. Specifically now, we're trying to help all the Latino vendors um, to get out there, to get their products, um, um, you know, participate in a, in a bigger, you know, field selling their products. Yeah, this is the first year you guys are doing this. So what sparked this idea to start one? My idea started three or four years ago. I've been in the farmer's market field, you know, for a long time. And I started to see that there was not enough presence of Latino vendors. So I said, hmm, okay, this is something going on. We definitely need more presence of Latinos. Mm -hmm. And also, I also noticed that I have, we didn't have enough Latino um, I'm sorry, Latino vendors, but Latinos also were looking for their food. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, so this is, you know, two and two together. This is something we could create a hub that, um, you know, for us, the, the community to go and eat and find all the goodies, all the Latino goodies in one place. Yeah, so there was definitely a need for this. So you're meeting that need. So Delaney and I are both farmers market girlies. We yes. love a good farmer's market. So what can people expect? What are the vendors selling? So, um, okay, so part of the, part of the Latino uh, farmer's market is, is also, you know, give a little bit of a culture. So, for example, you're going to find empanadas, you know, from two different countries. A lot of people think, oh, empanadas is the same thing. No, mm -hmm. we have empanadas from all over South America and every single one is different. Wow. Um, you're going to find tamales. Tamales, you know, they're different. Uh, tacos, we're going to have tacos, arepas, uh, salsas, of course, salsas, you know, authentic Mexican salsas and chips. Um, I mean, you're going to find a little bit of everything, you know, of the Latino culture. Nice. And really quickly, this is in the morning time, right? And on Correct. Saturday mornings, you're probably going to have kiddos with you. This is very family friendly. Correct. Yes. Okay. And dog friendly too. Okay. So you can bring your, your dog friend, you know, um, <laughs> so no problem. Um, absolutely. You know, it is in the mornings. Um, we started, uh, we extended the farmer's market until 1 p.m. because honestly, we couldn't take people out. You know, it was 12 and we're like, how do we take people out? People wanted to stay. People yeah. wanted to keep eating. Keep it's a good wanted. problem, right? It was a good problem to have. We didn't want them to leave, but we, you know, we had to have a cutoff time. And very quickly, where is it happening? It is at Rockwood Park. Rockwood Park. Yes. Until 1 p.m. on 1 PM. Saturdays. And so you... Cinco de Mayo. So I hope you guys oh, yeah. can come and join us. Absolutely. Definitely yes. a good thing to do, not just this Saturday, but every Saturday. Thanks so much, America, for Thank joining us Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate your time. And we'll